blend it in and it just brings out the natural color in your lips. So far, this has been really nice and eventually when I don't have my extensions on, this is what I'll be using. So I got this little trucker cap. I thought it was really cute. I love the color of it. It felt like these two sort of went together. So when we go on holidays, these would be a great pair to be able to take on holidays. Welcome back to another video on the channel. It is currently a Wednesday today and I'm currently halfway through packing our house. So if you haven't previously watched our vlogs before, um, we're currently moving. So I am just one child today, whereas the other one is at school and she has currently gone to sleep. So hopefully she will sleep for quite some time, but I have some bags here that I wanted to show you guys that I went uh, shopping on recently. I went down to Newcastle with my mum for a night and it was a blast. I had such a great time. It was so, so needed. I really wanted to do some shopping and exactly what I got. So I'm going to dive straight in, show you what I've got because I am very, very excited about this because usually when I go shopping, I can never find anything, especially when I have the money. So I may as well start with the makeup. So I ended up going to Mecca. This is going to be the lips. I actually have the lips on today and I'm obsessed. I never, ever wear lipstick. Not a lipstick gal, but I have seen these forever. I love this color from MAC. It's called the Velvet Teddy. And it is a really nice sort of, it's not nude, but it is more on the, what would you call it? It's just, oh, I don't even know how to call it. Like a brownie, mauvey, neutral color. Oh, it's really hard to, it's just, I don't know, what would you call that? Um, but I'm obsessed. And I also, so that one was the Velvet Teddy. And then I got the lip liner in Whirl. You see that? Is it focusing? Anyway, I got this one in the Whirl. And it's almost identical to the Velvet Teddy. The girl recommended it to me that served me at Mecca. She recommended it even just as an all over the lip um, color. So she just said, you know, if you don't want to use the lip liner, uh, sorry, if you don't want to use the lipstick one day, you can just use the lip liner. So I have tried that. I have had these for a couple of days now and obsessed. I love these colors and they're a go-to for my, not every day. I don't wear lipstick every day. Like today, I've only got it on just so I could show you guys what it looks like. Um, but being a home day, I'm not wearing it, but at work and when I go out, it is definitely something that I like to wear. And even this, um, lip liner is really nice. Just as more of a neutral, you can just put a tiny little bit on and then just sort of blend it in and it sort of blend it in and it just brings out the natural color in your lips. It's very pretty. Um, so I recommend these two if you're looking for a softer neutral color that is going to go, I guess with the warmer tones, I have a warmer tone in my um, skin and then I also have the blonde hair. I feel like it goes really well with blonde hair um, And then I picked up the tiny miniature one hourglass in the brow pencil that's in blonde and th it is tiny, but I didn't want to get a Brow pencil in the large because it's tiny, but honestly I only use a very small amount of it So it's probably gonna last me a while, but it's a really nice color to be able to use on my brows because it's really nice and neutral. So very soft. I really like this one. It's just to fill in those gaps on my brows. Um, so I just wanted to trial it out and I'm really happy with that. So when I run out of this one, I'll get the big one. Then I got the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. So I do have lash extensions on, but I did want to try out a mascara that, um, yeah, I just hadn't come across one that I really liked. And I've used this on my bottom lashes because I've got the lash extensions. I've just used it on the bottom. I did find that I had a little bit of fallout from the mascara because it is a um, tubing mascara, so it will not smudge, but it will just crumble off if you pull it off like a little tube um, but I found when I because I don't set my concealer that I had a little bit of fallout underneath my eye but other than that so far this has been really nice and eventually when I don't have my 
extensions on this is what I'll be using so it depends on how long I keep my extensions on for but I really wanted to get a mascara for when that was going to happen so like I said I've heard really good things about it I trialed it under my eye and just that fallout was minimal but that's my negative about that one so far but I don't usually put mascara on my bottom lashes it's usually on my top so once I do have no extensions, I will update you on how the mascara is going. Up is my H&M purchase. And I have never really been to H&M that much before. I, yeah, I never thought too much of it until I was noticing a lot of their um, neutral colors in their ranges. I ended up picking up a hoodie. It is summer currently in Australia, but you can never go wrong with a hoodie. And especially when they're for $35, it was I couldn't believe how cheap it was to be honest with you so it's just a full loose uh, oversized hoodie it's got a pocket at the front and it's just a nice sort of neutral creamy color and i really like that it is oversized and like i said it's only 35 dollars. i got it in the xl um, because i like the oversized but it's a yeah beautiful color then i came across these shorts these are just like they're very crinkly at the moment but they're just like a loose short and it's got like a little bit of a um what would you call it like a bit of an angle up the side and then it's just a, bit, a little bit of a ruched sort of top up here with a cord and that's it's a really nice sort of material i would say that it is a little bit more on the dressy, dressier side this is like a cream and i've got a black pair as well i'll insert a clip of what they look like on um, but i also got these in the xl they are reasonably big, um, but like I said, I like things oversized. Like I'd rather them loose and not tight on me. So these are also 35 each. So I have got my black ones on today, which I'll show you a picture of my outfit today, but it's super comfortable and they can be dressed up or they can be casual. So I really like those. Then I picked up a dress from Ganda. This is a really nice, um, like a greeny sort of color gingham print and it is quite loose and flowy it's really nice for summer i picked that one up for 65 but i ended up getting um i think five or ten dollars off it because my mum also purchased something through there and they did like spend i don't know buy one dress and you get the second item with ten dollars off and this is called the guacamole fish Fitzroy dress um, and I got it in size large so it was 65 but got it down to 55 so I love that it's just a really nice material I actually wore it the other day that's why I had to go and get it because it was in the wash but I love that dress it's really comfortable then my purchases from sports girl I currently have the top on that I bought from sports girl it's a really nice loose sort of blousey shirt short sleeve and it's got the little um rolled sleeve with the uh collar and then we've got some large tortoiseshell buttons and it just goes to your waist it is such a nice and oversized shirt it goes with the shorts that i have on today like i said i'll show you a insert of the picture of the outfit that i'm wearing today but it is so comfortable and i really needed some white shirt shirts especially the short sleeve i like the length of it because it goes just down to the crease of my elbow and i just really like the length of it it's just really comfortable and i love that it's white and it's got that sort of crinkled look to it it's really pretty i really like it I actually picked this one up in a size 12 and it was $50 reduced to 35 so I cannot obviously link this in the description below because it was in the sale rack but I'm a little bit of a bargain hunter so I'm glad that I picked this one up for 35 so being a size 12 you can obviously see that it is quite oversized so really happy next one I picked up is this beautiful maxi dress I was in love as soon as i saw this and i tried it on i was thinking it was going to be too big it is slightly oversized it's a size 18. i obviously um like oversized clothes but i didn't know if this one was going to fit me i was pretty confident it would because it is um like that linen sort of material but at the back it's got that stretchy material at the back so i wasn't quite sure how i was going to go it is loose but i think it still looks nice and yeah i'm happy with that but it's yeah size 18 and it was 89.95 and i got it down to 40 dollars. so i was 
pretty stoked with that. I have been looking for a white dress, maxi dress like this that is, um, it's got like, it doesn't show too much bust. I really wanted something that was to cover my arms, my shoulders. Um, and that was of a nice length and linen. I really wanted a white linen maxi. So stoked that I caught those two on sale at some city beach items. So I seem to like the one brand from this place. I didn't realize until I went to purchase them. So I got a couple of hats this time around. I picked up this guy. This one is just for the pool when we're moving to the house, just beach pool, whatever. Um, I just don't have like a visor and I really like the uh, natural sort of caney look about it and it was $25. So this is the Malula brand. And as you can see, I'm going to be selecting all of those brands today. So the Malula brand, uh, it's nice and stretchy and oh, love it. I love that I got a visor in the sort of woven -y, um, material. I really love this stuff. So I really like that one. Then I got this little trucker cap. I thought it was really cute. I love the color of it. It's that um, cord material and it's got just like little um, weathered sort of buttons on it. They're like a dark goldy color and then they've got this like cream leather strap around here. Um, and I just found it, it actually looked really nice on when I tried it on. It fitted really well and I don't usually wear a lot of hats like this but when I saw it, it was just, I just had to have it. It was only, $26 and same again this brand um, I just thought it was really cute so I'll be able to wear it casual or you can dress it up if you want to I have been looking for one of these bags forever so I picked this one up also from City Beach the Malula brand and it was 25 and it's called color coconut that's just that's all it has on the um, tag but it has no button or anything inside it's just got their little bit of uh, their logo on it and it's just this nice long strap so when I actually wear it I'm going to put it over like a crossbody bag and it's just a really nice size now that the kids are getting a little bit older I really wanted to get a bag of something this size but I really like this material and it feels like really quite decent and strong um, so it's got no liner inside so it'll be interesting to see how it goes I won't be able to put anything too um, heavy in it but I really like that it is of a decent size nice and reasonable like a medium size bag and I like that it has the long strap and I felt like these two sort of went together so when we go on holidays these would be a great pair to be able to take on holidays nice holiday coastal vibes um, yeah love love this bag so stoked that I found it and for the price too because if you were to buy a bag like this anywhere else I found them all in boutiques um, $100 more guarantee it whereas this one was only 25 so that was great and I eyed off this really nice um, white maxi skirt. It looked probably a little bit too full for my liking when I saw it from afar. Like it's it's quite heavy, like there's quite a lot of material to it. And it is sort of like that type of material you don't have to iron. So I really like that about it. It looked really nice on. I was stoked that I picked this up and I'm gl so glad I tried it on because I was just going to leave it. I am not the type of person that wants to go into those change rooms and try anything on. It's just a headache for me. I just, I don't like lining up and I just don't like having to get undressed and dressed again unless I have, really have to. But since I've made all the effort to go down to Newcastle, I thought I'd better try. And I, like I said, I tried all of these items on. There was no way I was buying them without trying them on because I don't live in Newcastle. So I'm so glad I did. And this looked really nice on. I've got a couple of tops that this will go pair really nicely with. Also, like I said, it is the Malula, 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 can't even say it now, Malula, <laughs> that doesn't sound right, does it? Totally massacred that one. Anyway, so it's called the Dusk, Mask Ma <laughs> Dusk Maxi Skirt in, it was uh, obviously the color white, it is size 14 and it was $50. So I felt like I picked up a lot of these items like for really good pricing. I'm when I go shopping, I try to do as much bargain hunting as possible, but I just love this skirt. It's I can't wait to wear it and I just hope that it's not too hot because like I said there's a fair bit of material to it. 
that is all of the items that I purchased from my Newcastle trip. I love all of these items. I'm, I just, I never usually get this lucky when it goes to shopping trips, especially when you have the money and you actually want to shop. Um, so I was really happy with that. The weekend away with mum was really good. That was my first time going away with my mum since becoming a mum myself. Um, it was just really needed. It was just really nice to be able to have that time with mum and be able to just chat without any interruptions um, and no one else there. It was just so nice and just so grateful and appreciative to be able to do a trip like that just before we move. Um, so I feel like my cup's full again and I can get stuck into all of this packing and cleaning. I have so much to do. You should see my house at the moment. I have boxes surrounding you guys. So that is what I'm doing today. Whilst I have one kid at home, I have already started pack packing boxes I've started the kitchen, I've started the kids' room, so I'm just going to get all this stuff put away. Um, I'm just so glad I was able to put this stuff aside so I could show you guys, because I just, I love hauls. I think they're awesome. Shows you what's out there, and yeah, like I found this lipstick through a haul. This was ages ago, mind you, so it's been a long time coming since I bought her, but um, yeah, I really wanted to be able to show you guys what I purchased and yeah I'm going to get stuck into the rest of this um, packing because it's two o'clock now and Chloe's got another hour of sleep and then I've got to go and get this kid the, uh, this afternoon from school so I'm gonna get stuck in I just did that look at my flower so Lucas bought this big flower in a bunch of like a bouquet of flowers for me I dried it out plan to keep it for a very long time and I've just taken a huge chunk out of it with the corner of the box when I was trying to put stuff in it I'm absolutely devastated these guys for my ice lattes I still use my other ones as well what do I use um, I'm running really low uh, Arondio Ar Arondio Arondio I don't know I can't pronounce that very well but um, I use those for my ice lattes as well, but I wanted to try these ones, which are called the Ice Fort in the Nespresso. Um, now, I'm not quite sure whether or not I'm doing it right, but I just don't feel like it tastes that strong. It tastes really watery, but 
I'm trying something different. So instead of putting ice in it and then milk, I've just put milk in it. I'm putting it in the fridge to cool down because there's quite a lot in it. Like it's, I don't know how many mils, like maybe uh, 230 mils of coffee. So it's, a, it's very hot to come out. So to be a ice drink, you need to cool it down. So I put milk in it straight away, put it in the fridge, and then I'm gonna go back and chuck some ice in it when I reckon I'm gonna give it a good 15, 20 minutes to cool down and hopefully it's ready to go. I usually pre-make it and then I'll put it in the fridge so then when I actually feel like it, I'll have it. But I've left a little bit late. I've done all of my packing and I've done majority of what I need to do today. Um, I've got one more box that I can fill. I still need to get a heap of more boxes, but I've got one more box to fill. Um, I might even do our bathroom. Although I feel like that's probably going to be the box size that I have for that. It's not probably the right size. I could probably utilize that box for Ari's room. Ari's got a lot of the toys in his stored in his bedroom. So that's why I've been working on his room a fair bit today. Um, but I compact as much as I can in it without making it too heavy. So I put, purchased that bubble wrap. Actually, that's a um, great little find that I picked up. I usually use um, I usually use my towels and tea towels and newspaper and stuff like that. But I find that the newspaper usually gets like a lot of the black writing on your plates and cups, and then all over your hands, and then go, gets all over the cupboards. Especially when you're going to a brand new house, you don't want to be opening cupboards with black all over your hands. It's just another thing that you have to clean. So I bought this, it's a huge roll. I think it was like 10 meters. It's a huge, huge roll. And I've used a fair bit of it already, but um, I still have so much left to go. And I just have mainly the kitchen to go. So up behind me here are our plates and bowls. And then I have my cups over in that um, area over there where I do my coffee. I still have some things that are left in the drawers, just some things that we'll use. I'm really not gonna be doing much in the kitchen as of next week, today being Wednesday. We still have a week and a half to go in this house, so I'm not gonna pack too much away, but I just wanna get a head start. So, um, because we can start moving in um, next weekend. So, I'm just trying to get a head start, and I love being organized. So, yeah, I um, highly recommend this little ball of bubble wrap. So, that was a great purchase. I think, it, yeah, like 10 meters, and I think it might have been I think it was around about $11. So I think that's pretty good. And then Lucas picked up this tape roller. I had seen these before and I thought they were just like a novelty thing, but they actually are really quite handy. So they've got that little cutting knife thing there where you can actually just, which you would have seen me doing, and it's just heaps better than having to use the scissors. Although I did have to use the scissors for the fragile tape. That's a really good tape to also get because it's so obvious that it is it stands out whereas i used to, used to write fragile on the box which just blended in with the rest of the writing so it's great to get this tape and then i just get i just have a little basket with all the stuff that i have in it so i put all my tape and all that sort of stuff but i also use the colored tape i saw this this is what i did last time with our last move i just use colored tape and i have another one there a white and a black and I just select which room it goes to. So the yellow was kitchen, blue was Ari, and red is Chloe's um, sofa. And I have started my bedroom, but I am yet to use a color. I might use black on ours or something. And um, basically, I just put it all in my basket. It's all where I need it to be. I put in a little texture as well, just a little um, Sharpie, a little permanent marker. And that's all you need. Like. You just need the bare minimal. I the boxes that I have still have so many more boxes to get. I have rung around Kmart, Big W, Target, all the places. They weren't as friendly and wanting to help me out this time. Whereas my last move, Big W were the place to go. They let me take so many boxes. I was I might have got a good person on the day. This time, however, not as helpful. So. I'm just gonna have to go and pick up some in the backs of, yeah, some of the grocery stores. I um, have done that previously and I'll probably have to do that again. Um, I think mum might bring some boxes home for me. So fingers crossed I get more boxes because we need as many as possible and I just, I will not pay for them. 
I feel like it's just such a waste of money. So the bare minimal are, are the tapes that I've had to buy, but um, yeah, I hate packing, but the more organized you are, the more easy and efficient that it is. I just got my coffee out of the fridge and it's still a little bit warm, but I chucked some ice in it. And I also put in a little of the Big Ford's iced coffee. It just has a little bit of sweetness to it. I just, I don't add sugar to any of my coffees, but I've got that little caramel syrup that I put in every now and again, but the Big Ford's um, coffee syrup, what I just showed you, that is what I put in some of mine for just a little bit of sweetener and it made, made it so much better. So the, co the milk with the coffee was fine it tasted much better um and then i just put the ice in to cool it down a little bit and it's already heaps better so can recommend the iced port in the nespresso i also got, got the gingerbread nespresso i don't know if anyone else has tried these but i wasn't a fan once again i don't know if i just didn't make it right like i i made it exactly how i'd make it, the cappuccino so I don't know. I'm going to give it another go. Um, maybe I wasn't in the mood for something different. I don't know. I'm like a coffee snob at the end of the day. So I really love my Nespresso machine and I like trying new flavors, but I'm a little bit of a particular coffee drinker. Like I like just cappuccinos. I'm pretty standard. Full cream milk. Can't do the almond and oat milk. It's just not my cup of tea. You do you, whatever suits you. But yeah, I just tried these other flavors and the iced coffee I thought would be interesting, but the ice for it, yeah, it's, it's not my favorite, but it's still nice. Like I said, I've just, you know, created this little extra little mixture. So just add that coffee syrup in it and it just gave a little bit more sweetener. But other than that, my usual iced coffee would just literally be that other coffee pod that I'd use, the one that I, I don't even know how to pronounce the name, but it's like Aridonia. Please tell me how to spell it. I, I don't know how you'd tell me to spell it because you just write exactly the same thing. But anyway, I'll stop rambling. So I'm a massive coffee fan. So if you haven't noticed already, but I love my Nespresso machine. I'm thinking about doing a actual video on my Nespresso machine and the coffee pods that I have tried. And I'm going to descale my coffee machine soon. So I'm going to probably do all that together. I thought that would be a really interesting video. I like watching those. So if you're a coffee person too, I thought you might enjoy that. But yeah, I feel like today has already been busy enough. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Gonna get Chloe out because it is 3.30. I was gonna get up at three. So I better go and get my baby up and pick up the other kids. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all the things. Love you, bye.